Coming up on the Buckeye Guard, engineers of the 200th Red Horse Squadron prepare themselves for missions around the world. Ohio is home to one of the nation's first female tank mechanics and a first for Ohio National Guard members as Wright State University creates a new scholarship program. Major General Mark E. Bartman, Ohio Adjutant General, hosted a delegation from the Republic of Serbia to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of Serbia's pairing with the Ohio National Guard through the State Partnership Program, a National Guard initiative that has been successfully building relationships for more than 20 years. The program links a state's National Guard with the armed forces or equivalent of a partner country. Ohio's partnership with Serbia has included numerous military, socio-political, and economic exchanges over the past decade in the interests of promoting regional stability and civil-military relationships. I know the friendships that have been established between not only the leadership of the Serbian Armed Forces, uh, but, but down to the individual soldier and airman level will really truly be those kind of uh, enduring relationships that uh, will carry us forward. During the visit, they met with Lieutenant Governor Mary Taylor at the Ohio State House, learned about the equipment and weapon systems used by Ohio National Guard soldiers and airmen, received a personal tour at a military history museum from Warren E. Motts, a veteran of the Ohio Army National Guard 37th Infantry Division, and finished the visit by cheering for the Ohio State University football team. Whether a project is here in Ohio or halfway across the world, engineers with the Ohio Air National Guard 200th Red Horse, which stands for Rapid Engineer Deployable, Heavy Operational Repair Squadron Engineers, stand ready to provide a highly mobile civil engineering response force. In order to be ready for the next mission, the airmen are put through their paces during Field Training Exercise, or FTX, at the Camp Perry Joint Training Center along the shores of Lake Erie near Port Clinton. So the FTX is a field training exercise that's designed to take our 400-person Red Horse Squadron and deploy us out into the field. Normally we operate out of two locations where there are 200 people at each location, so we don't get to see each other on a, da on a daily or, or monthly basis when we come in for our training months. During the three-day training exercise, the squadron built a camp and simulated projects they could be called on to do anywhere in the world. Uh, whether it's building a helipad, installing an aircraft arresting system, installing cabling for a variety of electrical systems, any one of a variety of projects we are able to simulate. So to ha have this one time a year where all 400 of us get together, operate, put up a camp, and sustain operations just over a weekend uh, is a bonding experience and helps improve our morale within the unit. Ohio Air National Guard units host a local child with a chronic or life-threatening illness, giving them the opportunity to live out their aviation dreams through a program called Pilot 4 Day. An Air Force-wide program, Pilot 4 Day participants are selected through area children's hospitals or other organizations such as Make-A-Wish or Children's Miracle Network. The honorary pilot gets an up-close experience with an aircraft and the opportunity to try out several different jobs. It also gives airmen a chance to give something back to the communities in which they live and work. A $100,000 scholarship fund designed to help members of the Ohio National Guard attend graduate school has been established by Wright State University in Dayton. At Wright State, we believe that education should be affordable and accessible to students of all backgrounds and all walks of life. And here we're working on the affordability for a group of people who we want to recognize for their service to this country. The scholarships will pay up to $2,500 in tuition per semester for a full-time graduate student who is also a current member in good standing with the Ohio National Guard and meets all of the requirements to get into their graduate program of choice. What I would really like to see as uh, the Adjutant General and the fact that I have 16,000 soldiers and airmen that are distributed throughout the entire state of Ohio, of course, 
is that other institutions of higher learning decide to pick up with what Wright State is doing and replicate this type of benefit throughout the state of Ohio. Ohio Department of Higher Education Chancellor John Kerry said the scholarship provides another opportunity to improve skills and education, likely leading to increased career opportunities. And as you move up the educational ladder, a graduate degree opens doors for you that may, may not have otherwise. With a few exceptions, most graduate degree programs at Wright State are eligible for the scholarship program, and many degree programs have evening or online classes. Fire safety is everyone's responsibility. To help out the community, Ohio National Guard warrant officer candidates went door-to-door -door in Columbus, Ohio, installing free smoke alarms in a partnership with the Columbus Fire Department and the American Red Cross. The bottom line at the end of the day is that we wanted to do something that was going to have an impact. It's going to have some meaning, you know, some, something lasting. And, um, you know, a project like this, improving the safety of the, the neighborhood and the individuals that live in it is, is right at that alley. There's a lot someone learns working on a tank. And as a mechanic, Ohio Army National Guard Sergeant Emma Briggs is constantly learning. I really do like the team aspect of it, just working together with all the guys trying to get stuff done. Um, I really enjoy just figuring stuff out. She spends her drill weekends with Company C, 1st Battalion, 145th Armored Regiment, making sure the Ohio-made M1 Abrams tank, more than 60 tons of military battle machine, is ready for duty. A lot of stuff can break inside that tank. That tank goes down, we need it back up to get it back into the fight. I rely on uh, NCOs like Briggs to get that piece of equipment fixed, analyzed, troubleshot, and then back into the fight. Briggs was among the first women to graduate from the Army's Abrams Tank Maintainers course. I am the only female in this unit, and I'm typically the only female out in the field. The whole um, women in combat arms is just so new to everybody, and I think that the units are still trying to figure out how to properly integrate females. I've been with these, this unit and these guys for about a year and a half, and they're, they're really good. They're very respectful. I've, I've never had an issue. Her subordinates look up to her, uh, follow her lead. I can give her a mission. Her platoon sergeant can give her a mission, and we know it's uh, been taken care of. There's a lot to learn inside of an $8.5 million tank. Briggs has also learned about herself. You can't be afraid to get your hands on anything. Even if, even if someone's doubting your ability or they're questioning what you know, you can't be afraid to get up there and do it. To see more about the Ohio National Guard, go to ong.ohio.gov or follow us on Facebook and Twitter.